nak? Awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum Jom kita revise sambil berehat Sambil berehat pun Kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula Hai Assalamualaikum Nama saya Lily Jom teman saya pergi kedai nak? Tapi sebelum pergi kedai Saya nak jumpa Siti dulu dekat rumah Siti Di mana jaraknya dari sini 1km Kemudian saya nak pergi ke taman sekejap Daripada rumah Siti ke taman 2km Dan daripada taman saya rasa Sebelum pergi kedai saya nak singgah dulu dekat library Dan jarak dari taman ke library adalah 1km Akhirnya daripada library saya jalan lagi sehingga ke kedai dan jarak daripada library ke kedai adalah 2km. Now, jom kawan-kawan, calculate total distance travel by Lily if she went to the shop from point A and then back to point C by using the same road. Dari point A, Lily pergi ke kedai and then dia patah balik ke point C menggunakan jalan yang sama. Berapa total distance yang dilalui oleh Lily ya? Jom kita tengok. Okay, so total distance travel by Lily is distance from A to B plus distance from B to C plus distance from C to D and plus distance D to E, E to D dan D to C. Ingat ya, distance is a scalar quantity. So kita tambahkan semua Walaupun Lily patah balik dari kedai pergi ke taman at point C, so the distance from point E to point D is positive 2 km, bukan negative 2 km. Since this is total distance, okay, scalar quantity. And now, how about the displacement travel by Lily? Displacement. So the total displacement, we need to consider the direction. Since displacement is a vector quantity. Therefore, look at here. So, we have negative sign. Melambangkan Lily patah balik from point E to point D and from point D to point C. So, dalam calculation displacement, mesti letak negative sign to indicate its direction. Therefore, the answer is equal to 3 km. Okay? Total distance 9 km and total displacement 3 km. Boleh bezakan tak? Okay, very good. Okay, so now let's continue. What is velocity? Do you remember? Ingat lagi ke? So velocity is a rate of change of displacement. And what is the difference between instantaneous velocity and Average velocity and what is uniform velocity? So, let's start with the first one which is instantaneous velocity. And remember, velocity is a vector quantity and it has magnitude and direction. 
So let's say we have a car here and this car will move to the right and its initial point at point A. Dia mula dekat point A and the initial velocity is 0 meter per second at T equal to 0 second. Dan kereta ini akan bergerak sehingga ke point B and the velocity at point B is equal to 5 meter per second and the time taken to travel from A to B is 4 second. And then it will move to point C and the velocity at point C is 8 meter per second and the time taken from B to C is 3 seconds. And remember that instantaneous velocity is a velocity at a specified position or instant of time along the path of motion. Maksudnya, dekat specific position ataupun dekat instant of time, specific time, for example, at point B, the instantaneous velocity at point B is 5 meter per second. Ataupun kita boleh cakap that the instantaneous velocity is the instantaneous rate of change of displacement. Okay, so instantaneous velocity is the instantaneous rate of change of displacement ds over dt. Jadi kalau kita ada equation of displacement, so we can differentiate displacement equation respect to time t. Now, let's look at example. So here we have s equal to 4t squared minus 2t. Ini adalah displacement equation. So bila kita differentiate this equation respect to T, then ds over dt is equal to 8t minus 2. So let's say kita nak cari what is the instantaneous velocity when t is equal to 2 second. Jadi kita perlu substitute t is equal to 2 seconds in equation of instantaneous velocity yang kita dah differentiate daripada displacement equation tadi. Therefore, V is equal to 8 times 2 minus 2 and the instantaneous velocity at T equal to 2 seconds is equal to 14 meter per second. Jadi macam mana? Boleh faham ke? Bila kita differentiate displacement equation respect to T, kita akan dapat satu equation baru iaitu Equation of velocity. So, bila kita nak cari what is instantaneous velocity at t equal to 2 second, kita substitute saja dalam velocity equation. And how to find instantaneous velocity of non-uniform motion? Macam mana kita nak kira instantaneous velocity of non-uniform motion? Jadi, jom kita tengok pada graf di bawah. Graf ini menunjukkan non-uniform motion of an object. Contohnya seperti sebuah kereta sedang bergerak. Jadi kalau kita nak kira what is the instantaneous velocity at T1, we need to calculate the gradient of the tangent to the curve at point Q. Okay, so we can find the instantaneous velocity at T1. Okay, and how about instantaneous velocity of uniform motion? Okey, kalau tadi untuk non-uniform motion, kita ada curve graph. Graph itu non-uniform motion. Jadi untuk uniform motion, graph of S against T is a straight line graph. Therefore, let's say we want to find the instantaneous velocity at point A which is at T1. Jadi katakan kita nak cari instantaneous velocity at T1 which is at point A on the graph or kita nak cari instantaneous velocity at T2 which is at point B on the straight line graph. So kita boleh kira dia punya gradient. Dan kalau kita perhatikan the gradient of the graph dekat point A dan gradient of the graph dekat point B sebenarnya sama. Kecerunan dekat point A dengan point B adalah sama. Therefore, the instantaneous rate of change of displacement ds over dt 
ataupun kita boleh katakan the instantaneous velocity at point A and point B is the same or constant. Boleh? Now, please remember that for uniform motion, instantaneous velocity at any point on the graph adalah constant. Boleh? Okay, very good. Okay, sekarang kita akan tengok berkenaan average velocity. So, average velocity is equal to change in displacement over time taken for the change. Perubahan displacement bahagi masa untuk perubahan tersebut. So, contoh di sini, kita ada satu kereta at point A and this car will move to the right and the initial velocity of this car at point A is 0 meter per second and start at T equal to 0 second. Kemudian, kereta itu akan bergerak ke point B and at point B, the velocity of the car is 5 meter per second. So, kereta ini mengambil masa 4 seconds to move from A to B. Dan kereta ini akan bergerak lagi sehingga ke point C and the velocity at point C is 8 meter per second dan kereta itu tiba dekat point C selepas 3 saat which is at T equal to 7 seconds. And given that the displacement between point A and point B is 20 meter and from B to C is 15 meter. So, kita dah tengok instantaneous velocity sebelum ni. Jom kita tengok what is the instantaneous velocity of the car at t equal to 4 second. So, the instantaneous velocity at 4 second adalah 5 meter per second. And instantaneous velocity at 7 seconds is 8 meter per second. But, how about the average velocity of the car that move from point A to point C? Macam mana kita nak kira average velocity of this car? So, based on this equation, average velocity is equal to the change of displacement delta S over the time taken for the change which is delta T. So, it's equal to S2 is the final position, S1 is the initial position. Jadi, untuk case ini, the final position of the car is at point C. So, kita tulis SC minus SA over TC minus TA. So, let's substitute the values. Therefore, the average velocity of the car from point A to point C is 5 meter per second. Boleh? Okay, very good. Okay, now let's move to the another part which is about uniform velocity. Apa yang dimaksudkan dengan uniform velocity ni? Apakah uniform velocity? Okay, cuba tengok situasi di sini. Kita ada abu di mana abu menaiki basikal daripada point A to point B which is 10 meter and the time taken untuk abu bergerak daripada point A to point B adalah 1 seconds. Dan kemudian abu bergerak lagi ke point C where the distance between B and C is 10 meter and the time taken untuk abu bergerak daripada point B to point C adalah 1 second. Okey? Nampak tak pattern pergerakan abu itu? Dalam masa 1 saat, abu telah bergerak sejauh 10 meter. Okey? Jadi, untuk kira velocity abu from point A to point B, so we can calculate VAB equal to 10 minus 0 over 1 minus 0. Remember, that the initial velocity of abu adalah 0 meter per second. Boleh. Dan velocity of abu at point C from point B is 20 meter minus 10 meter over 2 seconds minus 1 second. Abu tiba di point C 
pada masa 2 second. That's mean TC minus time at B which is 2 minus 1. Therefore, the velocity is 10 meter per second. Okay. Now, let's look at the graph displacement against time. Untuk kes abu ini, kita akan dapat straight line graph di mana at 1 second, displacement travel by abu is 10 meter. And another 1 second, Abu travel until 20 meter. Jadi dalam masa satu saat, Abu akan bergerak sejauh 10 meter. Tambah lagi satu saat, Abu bergerak lagi 10 meter. And then, another one second, Abu bergerak lagi 10 meter. Jadi kita nampak the pattern of the movement is uniform. So now we can conclude that Based on the gradient at 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, we can say that the gradient at any point on the graph is the same. Ataupun kita boleh kata, the gradient at any point on the graph is constant. Okay, gradient is sama. And remember again that the gradient of ST graph will give you the value of the velocity of the motion. Jadi, untuk kes abu, the velocity from point A to point B is equal to velocity from point B to point C. Alright? And the velocity is constant. So, kita panggil dia sebagai uniform velocity since at any point abu bergerak the velocity is constant. Sama sahaja. Boleh? Okay. Very good. See you in the next session. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe channel Madam Fika Fiki. Jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera.